All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you how to uh, subtract mixed numbers. All right, let's suppose we start with um, this question here. 4 and 2 thirds subtract 3 and 1 quarter. All right, so we're taking 4 and 2 thirds and we're subtracting 3 and 1 quarter. The first thing we can do, which is the easiest bit, is we can just uh, look at the whole numbers here and here, and we can subtract them. So 4 minus 3 equals 1. Okay, so we need to keep that for later. Okay, now we're going to be dealing with the fractions. And as I've said before, in other videos, uh, because we are subtracting fractions with different denominators, this is the denominator, we need to find a common number uh, or a common multiple in each of these uh, two uh, time multiplication tables. So write out my 3 here and my 4 here, and now I just write out the multiples of 3 and 4 here, and I find the smallest number that goes that appears in both of these lists, and that will become our new denominator. Okay, so the multiples uh, that appear on the uh, multiplication table are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. And I think we, we can probably stop there, but it, could, it would go on. Okay, and for the four times table, it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and dot, dot, dot. Okay, so I've written out the uh, multiples of 3 and 4, and now I have a look at these two lists of numbers, and I can see that 12 appears in both sets of multiples. So that means that 12 is going to be our new denominator. All right. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to rewrite it. So we've got um, 2 thirds subtract 1 quarter. And as I said, we've changed the denominators now. So we're talking about something subtract something over 12 subtract something else over 12 okay and as I've said in other videos I need to look at this denominator here the 3 and I have to ask myself what did I do to that 3 to get 12 what did I multiply that 3 by to get 12 well I would have multiplied it by 4 Whatever I do to the denominator, I need to do to the numerator as well. So if I multiply the denominator by 4, it means I also have to multiply the numerator by 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. All right. And now I come over, and I have a look at this denominator here, and I say, right, what did I do to 4 in order to get 12? I had to multiply it by something, and I had to multiply it by 3. So if I multiply this denominator by 3, I have to multiply this numerator by 3. Okay? So 1 times 3 is going to be 3. And now we just uh, do the straight, do the subtraction. So we have something over 12. It's just going to be 8 subtract 3 is 5. So now I take this fraction and I put it with this 1 and it will give me 1 and 5 twelfths. Okay? So that means our answer is 1 and 5 twelfths. So 4 and 2 thirds subtract 3 and a quarter equals 1 and 5 twelfths. And that is final answer. Alright, I hope you found that useful. Good luck.